what's good everybody welcome back to day eight it's your boy welcome back to the journaling process and understanding uh the trades that i took today during the marketplace so um it's also a place where you can review my performance um and this is really made for myself this journey has been good so far i mean look we've done eight videos so far man um you guys gotta give it to me there's some sort of consistency showing up um and I feel like it's becoming part of my habitual patterns where I'm able to come here and speak to you guys. So I'm very, very proud of that on that note. And also, man, yesterday we were preaching on how, you know, bad days are normal and how I hit the $75, uh, my, uh, my daily draw limit for the day, which is $75, which I took about three trades. Great. I lost all three of them, man. But today, man, today we made a killer, man. Today was a 200 plus day, man. My first $200 day on my personal or my pay account um, on this specific account I feel like yeah this is my first time on this PA um, so man it's been a ride man you know one day I'm hitting I'm hitting daily limits and then the other day the next day I'm hitting my you know my best day so we're around that 1.3 range right now because I wasn't at 130 range right now we're in that 1.3 range for my PA account um, so I'm trying, I'm trying to grow this thing as, as, as much as I can. Um, and as you guys can see, man, I'm keeping the statements there. Um, you guys can see all the things, man, at the end of the video, I always have the trades that I took and I'll have my performance for the day as far as like how many losses that I take wins, all that stuff. And that's all from trade of eight. Um, this is my PA account though. Um, so yeah, man, I'm gonna say also today I was an emotional wreck. Um, not in the sense that like I was scared. Uh, let me let me take that back. I was scared, uh, but I was scared for different reasons, not because I was scared of the actual trade. I was actually scared because I had risk on and I couldn't manage my trades um, because I was being bombarded at work today. And if you guys don't trade and work at the same time, man, let me tell you, it is a challenge, especially when it's when you're like in a rush. So I, I, I work in a customer service uh, realm. So when you're dealing with customers and there's a rush. And you trading, man, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, so the fact that I was able to kind of like hone myself and like kind of like persevere through that um, is, is a good thing. But also, I don't want to put myself through those conditions all the time. Um, but it was a good test today of my faith and my confidence in my own setups and things like that. So, hey, man, uh, that was that. Um, but I was very anxious because of that. Also, the ranges are pretty large today. The trading ranges are pretty large today. So I was like, man. Um, my stop loss is so wide and I feel like one, if I take one loss, it's going to be big. So what I was doing today, the reason why I took more than seven trades, I broke that rule today. The reason why I took more than seven trades, because a lot of the times I would be at break even and then price would be coming screaming back down to my thing. I'll close it out. Some of them were even in stop loss. I hit my stop loss very quickly. So it's a lot of that today. I was trying to, uh, manage myself to the best of my abilities with these large ranges and not really. Uh, risk so much and leave so much uh, leave so much risk on the table and I wanted to protect my equity today so that also kind of triggered an anxiety as well because in me protecting my coins and my realized profits I was like man this is a this is a, a battle it's a mental battle for sure today so um, but today man was my best day on my trading account on my PA live account um, we're above 1.3 as I said so we're good um, this is really cool and dope to see we started off at a thousand um, about last week. We were negative, whatever. We were negative 300. So I was like in the 700 realm and now I'm at 1.3. It just goes, it goes to show like, you know, if you keep, don't worry about the numbers, just worry about the habitual patterns and the setups that you're taking. And um, it's really all based on that. Cause one trade can do it for you. Two trades can do it for you. Three trades, you know, how about, how about if it's a fifth trade, you know, um, you never know your next trade could be a big winner. And um, as long as you're continuously creating good habits um, while you're trading and focusing on uh, being aware in the moment and not trying to be uh, driven by emotions and just be driven by logic, you know, um, things like this can happen, man. So I'm very proud of my progress so far. Um, so we're going to go into the price action now. So this is uh, the daily chart uh, we have right here. This high to this low, this fair valley gap here. I said we've been 
for a while now. I said last week, this week, how I wanted after we got above above this high, I wanted to see them take it to this fair value gap up here, and they did. This is a large fair value gap, so I'm wanting to see them take consequent encroachment. That's for you, Nadia. Um, and so I'm wanting to see them take consequent encroachment right there. Um, here. So tomorrow I'm definitely looking for bullish prices. Uh, who knows? Asia today might be crazy because Asia has been going crazy. I don't know about y'all, man, but I'm I'm considering trading Asia, man. Especially how the way this thing's been moving, man. Asia's going crazy. So um, when there's opportunity in Asia, I'm definitely trying to be part of that or try to, you know, at least paper trade it so that way I can get accustomed to it little by little. But um, I'm definitely looking for higher prices still. I want to see them uh, kind of, you know, play around in this. Fair value gap a little bit. Um, eventually, I think I want to see them take out this high. I'm not so confident in that statement yet, but interest rates suggest that uh, NASDAQ should be bullish. And as of lately, order flow has been bullish, so I'm not trying to pick a top. So I'm going to suggest that we're going to go above this high eventually. And if not, we're going to go to this rejection block here. But the idea is that we would go higher um, into this fair value gap for now. Um, and in the meantime, we can look for a fair value gap. I mean, uh, liquidity later after the fair value gap is filled. So we'll go down to the four hour and we'll talk about some of the things I was looking at in price today. Some of the things that are worth mentioning. Um, I'm going to throw on this here. So this morning I was looking at this and we're above a high. Right, we're above this high here. This is a busy buy side imbalance outside an efficiency. So them coming down here was possible, but also I was like, man, maybe they should like if they're really bullish, they'll just use this fair value gap here and run it higher. And the whole entire morning I'm watching both of these fair value gaps. The first one I wanted to see them use it and find support and just scream higher into the daily range, into the uh the uh, fair value gap so i wanted to see them go all the way up here but i was like man um you know they didn't want to do that so then they came down um and they broke through this fair value gap here and then i saw how they were reacting here and for the majority of this morning i wasn't really trading as you guys will see later i was just watching how price reacted so we have here 10 a.m's opening price and that's something that i also was looking at as well so i'll put 10 a.m opening price right there um, so yeah, the idea was to go along here, but then watching price on the one minute and the five minute, I wasn't quick to press a button to go along uh, that quickly. And then of course they screamed it a lot lower. Then we had all of this here, all of this gets filled in. All of this is an imbalance. This is all buy side inefficiency. And then we offer sell side delivery. So the, this is a balanced price range now. And I wanted it was okay for them to go here to this candle's opening price. All these candles together are order blocks. And that's exactly what happened. They came down, whatever. We had a little small fair value gap inside that range as well. So um, you'll see in a bit how I use that to my advantage. Um, but yeah, man, all this was going so you know bearish, bearish, bearish. I couldn't find a way to get in through the shorts. Um, I did see a short this morning, like, uh, these, I saw this right here, this small fair value gap here. I'm going to delete all these drawings cause I don't want to keep you guys confused. Um, so I saw this drawing here and I was like, man, this fair value gap right here, boom, they're going to use it as resistance, but it was so close to 930 open that, and we had like 920 news that I didn't, I wasn't so comfortable trying to short this um although i saw the move it was beautiful i wasn't comfortable in shorting this i also had seen that before that time came they had a, a bearish order block right here and they offered uh you know shorts through there so all that was cool and all but i was like man i can't enter these shorts because number one they're not giving me an opportunity to and i'm not confident entering here because these are large ranges this is a large fair valley gap so they could have came back in here snapped in here at least into this one um, but they didn't do none of that. They just kept screaming price lower. And during here, this is the only time where I felt like price was valid to go lower. Um, but I, again, I didn't enter. I didn't find the opportunity to enter 
during this time and this is something maybe I have to journal here um, and I also wanted to enter this one right here but again I was crazy at work and then I finally entered my first position here and it was a short here I thought this would be a, a a gap that they would use and take continue price lower but instead of right here they actually do something different and uh, they screen price higher and I'm gonna get into why that price level what price level that was so if we go down to here I was trying to see them go a little bit lower I mean and I was I also was trying to stay on the side of the market so I don't want to like you feel me just do whatever I wanted to do so then I see that they create this though here boom and I short here I get I automatically get stopped out and then I see this aggressive run high. I'm like oh this right here speaks a lot to me so this right here is a daily range sell side buy side and we retrace and then we have this order block right here they find support at that level I entered here at the consequent encouragement of this wick all these bodies staying above this wick I enter long here and uh, this trade I honestly wanted to see this trade go all the way up to at least overnight session uh, highs um, so I was being a little overzealous in that and because of that I didn't pay myself so I had my stop at break even they come snap me down I was up here like 140 ticks so I, I was well above I could have paid myself here and really you know done well but then they take it down whatever they keep playing it and then here this 119 candle is occurring I'm on the market while all this is happening and then if I go to the one hour I'll show you guys what I was looking at right there this right here is a stop hunt right here this right here is your rejection block but I'm more focused where the bodies are placed so the bodies right here remember this red line is our order block um, our rejection block this right here is our imbalance with consequent encouragement coupled with that and then we had a failure swing here so them taking out this previous hourly candles low and then snapping into that and then going higher that's what I wanted to see and I, I was honestly keen for them to go above this high right here and go into the daily um, fair value gap again I, I thought that the three hour uh, the three o'clock macro would do that but it didn't um, it just went up above this high and that's good I still caught like 500 ticks so it's not bad at all I'm not mad I ain't complaining it was my biggest day today and because I was so keen on going bullish because I've been bullish like I said um, once it came down again here I was like boom I see that so I took along here after this change in the state occurred this first order block I took along here when they returned to this order block because I thought they would use this order block fair enough I had my stop below the mean threshold because again this is a large range this is like oh this one wasn't that large I don't know I was I, re I had my mind on the fact that this was like such a large range um, but I still kept my um, my stop loss like right here they came down they took it and then I seen this right here I was like maybe they're gonna take it lower but we'll see and then we come above here again and this right here let me know that okay this pullback right here and then this um, fair value gap them creating an order block here this is a signature that I always see happen when they create an order block right before reaching into a fair value gap that can become an inversion fair value gap and this is a fair value gap in the stop hunt leg and they have this order block here form here a propulsion block this to me speaks so much volume so when I seen this I was like oh I took a long right there took a long right here and then I was aiming for these highs and then of course I was still aiming for uh, 10 a.m. opening price uh, 10 a.m. was over here 10 a.m. was over here so I'll, my first TP was 10 a.m. they didn't reach 10 a.m. Um, but I was aiming for that and I wanted to see a run after this high was taken I want to see them take this with speed over here so I was trying to catch like another hundred points or hundred handles but it didn't happen um, and then I but I caught all this so my entry was here and then I, I took like I took my trade right here so like I took profit right here after they started retracing I was like ah uh, they don't want to really spend too much time with speed and then I seen that uh, 230 came around there's a little macro I like to trade they had uh, this we stayed above this for valley gap here I was speaking to me 
and then they came they went down here and then they found they created another order block same kind of situation that happened down here and I was like oh I'm gonna long this and I did I longed it in this wick and I wanted to see them scream so it kind of gave me hope when I seen these two candles right here but it wasn't enough um, they took price back down and I took I had my stop at break even and then I, I was so eager to see them run it up again that I took another long here but um, I ended the day overall uh, 200 so I'm not mad um, I can't even be mad about that for real um, but um, yeah I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the trades uh, oh I think I took nine trades yeah let me not lie over here yep I, I took nine trades um, and that was stopped and break even these trades up here and uh, this trade right here was my home run for the day like this run right here was so beautiful um, but yeah man I'm at 1300 right now on my account I'm not complaining uh, I really wish I wanted to see them go crazy here because um, I used to really trade one shot one kill heavier a lot much more a lot more I used to trade that a lot more but um, I felt like scalping has been calling my name as of lately um, but I was trying to implement this as a one shot one kill and, and, and it still low key is because this move was about 100 plus points um, so that's to me that's one shot one kill um, so I would but I was trying to catch an ultimate one shot one kill so it was gonna be good um, as far as my emotions I would say like I really pushed it I feel like I was being very aggressive today um, like I said I was in the flow I felt like I, I understood where where things were going um, and uh, I just felt like I could have been a lot more relaxed, um, but I was extremely anxious for quite some time. So, and it was just because today was a large range. I kept putting my stops at break even, break even, break even. If I got just a little bit of breaking market structure, I put my stop at break even, break even, break even. Um, and the way I was trailing my stop was very aggressive today, um, just because, like, man, you gotta respect these large ranges, um, but. Today was a good day overall. I can't even complain. It was one of my best days, if not the best day I've ever had on this account. Um, also, breaking my rule of the seven trades, man, that's that's a rough one too. Um, but I'm holding myself accountable to it. It's not something that I want to do all the time, but you know, I have to be a little cognizant of that rule. Um, and follow it more times than not. And as of lately, I've been following. I feel like I've been following it. Um, but today, I did not follow that rule. And I traded about nine trades. Um, and so, hey, man. Can't even complain. It was still a great day. Uh, you know what it is, though? I feel like the reason why I wanted to trade more was because as you're sitting there and fearing whether or not this trade is going to play out in your way because you want to preserve your capital. Like, if you're so held on to the fact of preserving capital, yes, preserving capital is great. But if you're so held on to that fact, and it, it kind of fear mongers you to the point where you, it doesn't even enable you or allow you to trade um, and take the setups that you know that will yield you results, um, you know, if it does that type of, if it has that effect on you, man, I feel like any person that's in that predicament is scared to enter, uh, is scared to execute trades for real. Um, Today I knew that the high, that it was high probability that the that it was in my favor to trade the way I traded today because the volatility was there. Um, I just wanted to be, you know, in those moves because I knew that they were gonna yield results, and they were A plus setups for me. So I was like, man, I want to take this long. 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 And you know, I got stopped plenty of times today, but man, yo, that shouldn't stop you when you know that the probability is in your favor and you see it all happening. 10 a.m. is very high over here. We repelled away from it, and the return to it is very likely. So, and all this was bearish sell side. So, it's like returning to 10 a.m. very likely. So, I was like, yo, and we're in super deep discount rejection block. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna I'm I'm press that button. I'm gonna press that button. We are this is a good trade. This is a good trade setup. I cannot allow this. They would have to kill me to see me not trade a good trade. So I was like, when I see a good trade and I know it's a good trade and I feel it with every fiber in me, yo, I'm going to take that trade, man. Um, but listen, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment below. 
Um, I love you guys. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to upload. I got so much things going on right now. I'm about to actually go to worship practice. And uh, Saturday, hopefully also I'll have a um, Zoom call or some sort of lecture uh, planned out. That way I can keep up with the consistency on the weekends. Um, but I'm very, very proud of my performance today. The only thing I would say is that if I can manage my emotions better, I definitely would love that. But it's not something that I could just say. Um, so I definitely have to journal. I haven't had the time to journal because work was crazy. So I'm a journal. Um, and this is also a form of journaling, but I'm a journal, guys. And I expect you guys to do the same. God bless you guys all. Hopefully you guys have a great, phenomenal day and rest of your week, man. We got Friday. We got one more trading day out the way, uh, which is Thursday. We got Friday tomorrow. And low key, I think I'm going a, I'm to a stop. I think I'm going to stop. I think I'm good for the week. I think I, I shouldn't really press. Um, but if an opportunity shows tomorrow, I'm going to limit myself to two shots tomorrow. Hopefully I could keep that word to myself. But I'm going to limit myself to very, very few shots. Um, that way I can just uh, try to focus on equity curve versus trying to be greedy and just make money. It's not about the numbers for me. It's about keeping the right habits in place so that this consistency can continue. Um, so, yeah. I love you guys. Have a great day and good, better, best. Never let the rest of your good is better and your better is best. In God's name, Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Love you guys. I'm out of here. I'm out.